We got a bunch of cars that are hitting the head to where we're basically wrapping them up, trying to get things done, crossing the T's, dotting the I's is what I like to call it. The 69 Trans Am for a customer out of Minneapolis. You guys are gonna see a really nice video Dylan's putting together on this. That'll be released here shortly with the owner. Come, he came down with his wife here just recently, test drove it, checked everything over. We're just wrapping up a few little miscellaneous things on the car before we send it to him and his new home. This is a 65 Impala that we're, basically it came in for a repaint. Uh, had a lot of knick-knack scratches and stuff like that. And the owner's very particular. He wanted the car very nice. While it was here, we noticed that the, the original frame had some rot in it that needed to be addressed. Rust that was basically beyond being repaired. So we actually found him a new frame, got it sandblasted, powder coated. We swapped everything over drivetrain wise on this car. We had gutted the interior, uh, put all new sound deadening in the interior, redid all the wiring on the car, um, get, did a refresh on the motor and obviously a full show quality paint job on the outside, base clear paint, all speed spec, all speed secker components. Um, but this car is basically done. We're just waiting on the owner to, to come down and, and get it picked up here shortly. He lives out of the Omaha area, but really, really, really pretty car. We got this 1970 Scout, uh, a local family had uh, got it for their son who's turning 16. They started playing with it this summer, dropped it off this fall for us to basically address a laundry list of things to, to keep making it fun but yet safe. So we are basically updating all the suspension. We put all new wiring in it. We're redoing all the lighting, the blinkers, put a whole new fuel system in it and basically a complete tune-up, redoing the interior. We got new seats coming for it. It had no top on it when it came in, but we were able to make a soft top work with a full cage on the inside that goes all the way back so it would cover any passengers that he has in here as well. Anyway, this is gonna be a really fun truck for him to be riding around in. You'll see it here locally in Lincoln with it in this uh, next spring as he gets it out and starts enjoying it. All right, we actually just wrapped up uh, Maurice's car from New York. He lives in Long Island, 77, smoking the Bandit Trans Am, 404 speed car, full numbers matching, nut and bolt frame off, concourse restoration. This car came out really nice. When he shipped it to us, he shipped it with an extra car worth of parts, or a, a whole nother car with a whole bunch of extra pieces and parts. He had had another shop start it years ago, wasn't happy with how things were going, so sent it to us here in Nebraska. We basically got it knocked out here this last year cars turned out excellent. He's flying in here within the next week to come check out his car, drive it, make sure everything is the way he wants it before we then ship it to the coast. Right behind me is, I got Jason and Joe working on it. We got a 70 Chevelle SS. This is a local gentleman that we've been working with for years. He's got a collection of Chevelles. He had had a local company uh, do some paint work on it a while ago. It's been sitting in his storage building and decided he wanted to get it in, have us finish up the paint, get it wet, sand, and buffed out, put the vinyl top on it. We've been putting uh, all new American wiring uh, harness on it, front to, front to rear. It's got uh, hush mat um, sound deadener and stuff in it. We got a whole new dash. We got Dakota Digital gauges. We refreshed his uh, big block motor and stuff in it. We got cold cases, uh, radiator cooling system with electric fans whole bunch of bells and whistles. We got a whole a lot of new stuff all going together right now on this car. We're hoping to have it done here within the next couple of months so we can get it to its owner. All right, over here in the body shop, we've got a lot of projects going on for the guys. Right behind me, we got a 70 Chevelle. This is a local gentleman's car. It's in here for some insurance work. He had a, a slight accident. Um, everybody was okay. That happened this summer, but basically Lance is working on finishing up some fitment on the, the front clip, hood, fenders, grill. We had already had, uh, had a few things with the drivetrain and stuff done. We got all new parts in. We're just trying to get everything fit up so we can get this thing into primer and some paint. Behind me, I got the 70 446 pack Cuda that we're working on. It's a, it was a barn fine car, it came out of Missouri. We're building this for a local customer. We're just wrapping up all the undercarriage work on the car, getting it ready to paint. 
So we'll prime and seal and then paint the bottom side of the car and then it'll come off the rotisserie and we'll get it all put on the suspension before we then finalize the, the body work on the outside to get it ready for its final paint. Um, next to it we have, this is a customer's uh, 77 Trans Am. He's out of Minneapolis. It's been going through a frame off restoration. It had to get some quarters and a tail panel. Uh, we actually just finished, I think we painted the, the bottom side of the car red oxide, the firewalls painted black, um, and it's going to be coming off of the body cart here shortly, going onto its suspension, and then we'll do a final test fit with the front clip, doors, hood, everything that's needed before we then uh, get it into primer and paint. Next to it in this back corner here is a one owner, 76, 455, four speed car. It's a customer's car out of Washington. Very solid, very clean car. I think we had to put one quarter on it. Josh has been working on this car uh, for the last several months, just trying to get everything dialed in with the body. Uh, the subframe is all done. The motor's all uh, done in the other room. Um, sandblasted, powder coated, um, getting everything put together with that because we'll basically marry up the subframe with this car and then do the same thing, testing the fenders, front clip, getting, making sure everything lines up good before we then get it through the, prime, the final priming stages on the front clip and get it all painted. It's a black car with black interior, 455 four speed, very rare car. All right, we have a bunch of blazers going on here. If you guys haven't been paying attention to our social media posts, we are big into the K5s, all the four wheel drive stuff, whether it's uh, K5, K10s, 20s, also the Scouts, which we just saw earlier, the 4x4 Scout, also the Bronco 4x4s. We've done several of those. Right now we have several Blazers in here. We actually are building custom Blazers for clients now, as well as Trans Ams, Camaros, Mustangs, Cudas, everything else that we do. So it's just another thing that we can actually help people with. But anyway, this is a 72 Blazer. We just wrapped up. This has got all new fresh base coat, clear coat paint, all new interior. Um, everything is painted, the full drive lines uh, done, rebuilt. This thing runs and drives out great. You can go 75, 80 down the interstate. She just hums right along. Uh, we're just kind of doing some finishing touches and stuff on it right now, but this is a great restored 72 Blazer for somebody. It's gonna be available on our website here this weekend. I got that red one. We have this white 91 that we just finished up. All new paint, wheels, tires, suspension, brakes, uh, chrome trim. It's getting um, new carpet installed on it. Um, everything is tuned up, running really good and strong. It's actually got upgraded axles, so it actually has the eight lug axles under it. So that's why we went with these uh, modern uh, wheel and tire combination. And this thing runs and drives out great. I actually just drove it down to get the alignment done yesterday and had a fun time doing it. This, these things get a lot of attention. The, the square body blazers are really popular right now. We also have another 70 rust-free blazer that came in out of Arizona. It's a, it was pretty much a one family owned blazer all the way up until a year ago. Uh, and the gentleman that we got it from, um, all he really did to it was he uh, kind of uh, replaced some interior components, but we're giving it a complete tune up, heater core. Getting, it's got a built 350 in it. The original motor has been uh, rebuilt, aluminum heads, it's stroked. It's a good, strong running truck. Um, basically, we're just kind of wrapping up a few things on it here over the next couple of weeks, and then it'll be available as well up on our website. Um, this 68 Camaro, a little dusty here, but we're actually uh, transforming the, the 350 motor to a new LS1 rebuilt motor with a hot cam and an overdrive tranny, and, and it'll get all ride tech suspension. So. Um, this one was a customer's car. We ended up building a 69 Camaro for him instead. This one came in as a partial trade towards that car. And so we're actually, we're going back through it. It's already been all repainted. Um, it's getting all new interior and it's gonna have an LS drivetrain in it here within the next month. And it's gonna be pretty sweet to see. We'll probably be doing some donuts in the parking lot. This 1974 Trans Am was one that we actually did years ago. We did this for a client of ours out of Canada long time ago, this, we had found the car out of California, absolute rust free, 74 numbers matching, 455 automatic car, air conditioning. 
and we ended up doing a complete repaint on it. We upgraded the brakes. We put uh, these custom billet honeycomb wheels on it all the way around. The car was ec ecstatically nice. It actually had sold uh, through Barrett Jackson out of Florida from the, uh, pr the owner that we originally built it for. And the new owner that has it now, um, he had somebody um, hit him on the driver's side, which is all fixed now. It was just a very light accident, but he decided to send it up here, have us refresh the car. So we did a full color sand, a repaint, and we're now addressing some of the other outside. It's getting wet sanded and buffed now. The wheels will come off here this, this weekend. They'll get uh, uh, polished and buffed out, and then we'll re-powder coat, clear them, probably put some new tires on it. These are the older uh, KDW 2 tires that BF Goodrich had years ago, but they're still in great shape. Anyway, super nice car. The one thing that's very unique about this car that a lot of people don't know that you can have done, it's a little dirty in here right now, but it's actually got full leather interior. So the seats were actually re-sewn and made out of leather, but yet look stock. So all black leather, and that's something that we can do. We'll have better photos and pictures of this when it's all cleaned up and put back together so everybody can see it. But it's a really super fun car, it runs very strong. It's got, it's got a built Butler motor and stuff in it too. All right, just to update everybody, we are actually, we have a lot of stuff in our merch store now. We have uh, new shirts. This is one of them I have on now. We have another black long sleeve shirt bunch of other stuff that's on sale. We have new posters from the Bandit Run that are available. A lot of the new parts that we are now making, producing, or reselling for other vendors that we've been helping get produced are available all on our e-commerce store and also our eBay store. Check us out online. Make sure you follow us, tag us, and share us.